What's up, guys? How you guys doing? So yeah, man, I'm back again. Today is actually like a good day. I think I'm on a roll today. I've already done like a, I did um the video for that Speak Lord um remake, and then now I'm doing this one here. So um, what I'm trying to do is since I'm in the mood, I'm actually trying to like do all these videos now, get them out the way, and then um what is this? Then um. You know, just export them and have them on the on the PC, and then every now and again, maybe just upload a video, you know. But yeah, man. But basically, um, today what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be talking about seeing as you know during the lockdown, everybody's like sitting at home, they don't have anything to do. I notice a lot of people are already like streaming stuff, you know, like playing stuff and live streaming and all these things. So I figured, you know, um, not all of us have the resources to do that. Like you don't have the IRIC thing, um, that hardware whatnot to do this but most of you do have virtual dj and most of you do know about virtual dj and how to use it and whether you're using it by laptop or you actually have it like a what do you call this a plug and play like hardware software to hardware thing to use with, with whatever it is man like it's up to you um but basically most of you should be familiar with virtual dj so yeah so what i'm using the virtual dj that i'm using today is the latest one, I think it's Virtual DJ 2020, and then I'm on the Pro, whatnot, the view thing or whatever, the layout. I'm on that Pro one. There's various ones. There's also your starter essentials and performance one. So I'm using the Pro layout, and then there's nothing really like spectacular about this, guys. It's just like a layout. But yeah, but I'll be teaching you guys how to stream live, so your mixes onto YouTube or onto Facebook. Um, heads up though. My internet, I'm hotspotting myself using my phone. So, yeah, it might be sort of slow. It might delay. It might lag. Nyana, but, um, oh, yeah, kinda I can pause. I can pause videos here. Now I remember this. Ugh, I'd forgotten all about this thing. So what I'll do is I'll just pause the video. And then once it pops up, I'll show you guys. Yeah. But you won't, you won't see all of that anyway. But let's jump straight to the video, man. So, yeah. So basically, you want to open up Virtual DJ, right? You open up Virtual DJ like this, like this here. You want to go to this little thing here called settings click on there right and then what you want to do is you want to go to the left right here you see there's tutorials there's audio there's all these things you want to go to broadcast right because now you're a broadcaster now you you live streaming things now hey you want to go famous now and be a dj online and stuff so that's what you want to do you want to choose video you want to keep it on video and then you want to choose here. Yeah, you want to come here to stream to choose one of these things, Facebook or YouTube. If you have the others, you can also use them, but I'm not familiar with them. I don't have all of these. So I just did Facebook or YouTube. So let's say I want to do Facebook. So I'll click on Facebook. Boom, Facebook, right? What you have here, it will just be an empty space like this. Yeah. So what you want to do next, once you've done this, you just want to go and click here. You want to say go to Facebook. So this is the part that might be a bit slow for you guys uh you might not see this but i'm hoping it's going to be very quick my internet but you want to click on go that that link there and then it's going to take you it's going to open up your browser it's going to take you to the facebook page it's going to take you to the live page on facebook where you start setting up everything and you prepare your live streaming thing basically so that's basically where you're going to go as you can see it's quite slow man i already clicked on this but it's saying it's on sweet time i'm hoping it's going to pop up soon but then you're gonna go to Facebook, you're gonna type in your, there it is. You will type in your, the title of the video, your live stream, you will type in the details. I mean, you're gonna to have to type in if it's like, uh, whatever it is, the description, blah, 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 save it, and then you're gonna start live streaming, you know? So I'm waiting for it to show you this, so that so it goes to Facebook and it shows you this. But while, while it's doing this, let me see if I can't do this. Let me do this as well. Let me see if I can't do both. And then actually also take you to, YouTube. YouTube is normally quicker than Facebook. I found that I tried to live stream on Facebook and it gave me a bit of a problem. Um, but when I did it with YouTube, YouTube was like super easy, man. Like it was very quick. There is a bit of a, a lag between what, what you do on Virtual DJ and what actually happens on YouTube. I think for me, I think that has to do with like your the power of your PC and all these other things, you know your RAM and all the stuff there. So I wouldn't know. And your internet connection as well. So yeah. All right, cool. So on Facebook, it's going to take you to this page, right? And then 
yeah, my, my internet is very slow, man. Basically, what's supposed to happen now is supposed to give me this option of like streaming live. It should pop up here, click on it, and then that's where I should go for all the other details. So while it's doing this, I'll just explain some other things. Let's check on YouTube and see what happens. You know, oh, there's YouTube. You see, YouTube is very quick. I told you guys. And then, all right, cool. So you wanna go to here? Yeah, you wanna, you wanna, when you get to YouTube, you're ready now, now, but you can just so much just do this. Go to live room, click on go to live room here. And I will basically just give you the same options once again, put in your title, the title of your video, the details, description, all those things there. You're going to do that. You can also do this there, you know, but um, here's the most important thing. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to take this. This is what you want. This is basically what you want. So previously, because I've did, I did stream live before, you know, I nearly said stram, you know, <laughs> I nearly said stram as a past tense of stream. But I don't know what the past tense of stream is. So I streamed. I think streamed is the password. Past past tense, man, not password. But anyway, since since the last time I was streaming live, this is what it did. So you see it says live stream offline. Let's focus on YouTube because I think Facebook. Oh, there it is. There you go. But let's just do YouTube and then we're gonna go back to Facebook. Simple. So you so you guys remember recap quick quick. Open your virtual DJ settings, go down broadcast, choose one between Facebook and YouTube, whichever one you're gonna be choosing. Then you're gonna click on the link here. Boom. When you click on the link, it's gonna take you here on YouTube, whatever your channel is. Open up your channel because I have YouTube already. I've done this before. You just just go straight to my channel like this. Once you once you here, you're gonna to have to type in your title of the video. So good music or nothing live stream, or you can change it, whatever. I normally just type in let's jam some dope tunes playlist on the screen because luckily with virtual DJ, the up and down, the, the perks of it are that your video when you do a live stream like it literally just shows that the song that you're playing and it basically shows everything that you're doing on virtual dj but it won't show the actual interface itself it will just be like if you click on something it will say that you click on this and it's going to show it in a certain way it's a very nice way um yeah and then what you want to do is you want to reveal this you're going to click reveal copy the key take the key okay let me just do reveal man uh but you guys are gonna stream to my channel. But anyway, if you click reveal and you copy this key here, and then you come to virtual DJ, paste the key there. Once you paste the key there, guys, you are pretty much done. You're done. You can literally just say, um, you can you can just what well, after after you've done that, you'll literally just go here and you just go to go to live control room, like go there, click there, and then it's gonna start going there. You can type everything in there as well, or you can just do it here. But you're pretty much done after that. It's going to give you the go live option on the top right corner. And then here, you can just say start broadcasting. What I've realized um, is that if you ideally just, just like say, just like, do you want to start, once you say start broadcasting here on virtual DJ, you can just so much start mixing. You can just start mixing from the get go and just do your stuff. YouTube is a bit of a, it's usually like it has a delay in the type of thing about. So just stick to stick to stick to virtual DJ and what virtual DJ does. So you see, same thing again. Create title, blah blah blah. You can do this. Create stream. Let's say, let's say I do this Gmod, and then let's say create stream. Done. Oh yeah. Oh fudge! I forgot something. I don't know if I should do this again. But anyway, um, at the bottom there, after the title, it's gonna it, it, it asks you if this is suitable for key for kids or not. And then what you wanna do is you wanna say you wanna say no, it's not suitable for kids. Because if you say yes, it's suitable for kids, then you can't have this chat thing here with your with your followers or with your whatever you wanna call them, you know. Uh, your subscribers so you can't chat to them because youtube is like super uptight and strict now so you want to say you uh, you want to say no it's not suitable for kids then it becomes obviously it falls under adult content and then you know you can chat to people blah 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 i mean you, you can imagine if a kid is like they're trying to stream live on watching this video for example on teaching you how to stream live and next thing they come across a comment of some troll saying fuck me or some shit like that you know so yeah so that's 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 the justification from YouTube. But yeah, man. So once you're here, 
you're done you have your live chat here people on the chat here you can type back i can type to you guys hey what's up blah 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 and then my streaming thing will show up here it will probably pop up here and then normally what's what should be happening is it should be saying ready to stream right now like connect streaming software to start preview it should be saying ready to stream and then you just go live but it's not going to do that you know why because i didn't click start broadcasting if i click start broadcasting here it's going to take like maybe a few seconds and it's going to say broadcasting to youtube blah 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 once it does that and it says that you can just close this like this here take a song boom play your song play your song put another song in do that do this do that do this and that's basically it so that's that with youtube and that's how you stream live to youtube you want to you want to copy the stream key here is the same one it does change the stream key does change on a regular basis so if my key for now won't be the same key that i used the last time so you what you want to do is you want to make sure that every now and again you just copy the key and paste it back there on on thing on virtual dj here where we were earlier on and then yeah and then this is your thing this is the stream your your url so you want to copy this send it to your post it on your facebook page or whoever might be interested to see you playing live send it to them then you can just click on it and watch you and that's basically how you stream live on on, on thing man on using virtual dj it's very basic it's very easy guys i did have a hustle i think um i hustle yana like the first two times i tried it but third time it started going through i think mostly for me it was just an internet connection thing internet connection thing more than anything you know um so yeah so let's try and see what happens with facebook facebook i still fail i don't know how what what the problem is i'm still struggling with facebook but i've seen a couple of people do it as well so it should work but eventually i'm gonna try and do it on facebook you know i'm actually not too sure what the copyright situation is with facebook i know with youtube in terms of copyrights they're very uptight you know they pick up the song when you're playing songs they do pick up the songs and then they they'll they'll tell you they'll send your copyright notification and stuff you know um so ideally what you want to do is you want to play your songs at a lower ppm than the normal one either lower or higher one of the two you can't play them like at the at a at, a, at the normal ppm so take this song for example yeah it's at 120. so if i do decide to play it i'll probably play it somewhere around not that low obviously because it depends on what kind of set i'm playing but i might play it around like 118 somewhere there you know and then what you want to do as well you want to add like a lot of effects you know not like crazy effects like your your reverb and your flanger or whatever if you want to add those but you know every now and again maybe just like kill the care kit i mean kill the kill the bass kill the mids raise this raise that like just create a um some irregularity irregularity in the in the wave of the of the song because i mean that's how these things work they just pick up this thing here they just pick up these patterns and then they'll be like oh this song is this song and then next thing you know you're getting a copyright complaint you know and then your channel gets shut down or maybe they're taking your money monetization and all that shit. so what you want to do is you want to just mess around with these things every now and again so that these these algorithms find it hard to pick it up and then yeah so let's go back to facebook same thing again facebook you see go live now you choose where you want to share it to so i'll share it to the page oh yeah i did change the facebook page from share it to your page you manage your group blah 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 and then type in type in the video title same thing then normally it's going to give you once you type everything here it's going to give it's going to go blue it's going to go this thing here it's going to be able to, it's going to be clickable you can use it click on it and then go live and then it should link everything together um stream key as well same thing copy the stream key this key here copy that paste it on your thing paste it on your on your virtual dj just like we did with the other one we did with with um youtube come here once again you change obviously this is going to be on facebook right then you paste the key here start broadcast you done and that should link with this and it should start broadcasting then you just play your songs and you're ready to go man and that's basically it. i'm not too sure when it comes to chatting back and commenting and everything else with or interacting with your with your people your fans or whatever you want to call them you know i'm not too sure how that would work with facebook i haven't done it before 
so excuse me i'm not too familiar with facebook but yeah but that's basically the principle man the principle man the key main things type you just go to virtual dj settings broadcast choose facebook or youtube click on the link at the bottom where it says www.facebook.com here here this click on that it's going to open up your browser take you to facebook that's where you're going to get your link you're going to get the key to stream copy your key paste it here start broadcast facebook should be ready it's going to tell you to go live you click on this you go live these two are going to sync together you start playing your stuff and there you go and then what happens is virtual dj will just let me just close this for you let me just close this quickly so virtual dj when you're playing say for example like now i'm touching this right on on the screen the people that are listening or that are watching they're gonna see something that's gonna pop up and it's gonna say low and then it's gonna show how far how much of the low that i've taken it down by or how much i've increased it by so maybe i'm here it's gonna be on some hundred percent low no man this will be probably a hundred percent this is gonna be like 50 this is gonna be like zero or oh, so it's gonna tell you like okay this is this this is that whatever i don't know but basically just it tells you like what you're doing if i click on play it's gonna say it's gonna show a button that says something that's at this play that's gonna say play on on the screen of the people that are viewing um what else is there um uh, if i loop like this it's gonna display something that says loop on on the screen so basically whatever i do it's gonna display that but the people won't be seeing that exactly people will be seeing this oh yeah fudge man i should be showing you this thing here let me show you this thing uh let me show you this let's do cover i think it should be cover right yeah i don't know if it's gonna show you guys but i'm hoping it does uh let's see video there it is so it's gonna pop up like oh yeah there you go man so that's how it pops up and then let's see okay this doesn't show it doesn't show but you see how the text is shared that's how that's how you see these things here. and then the low will just pop up somewhere here saying low and the percentage and how far i've taken it and then also like when i'm taking the volume down and i'm increasing this song here you see you see the change in dominance so let's see so i've got these two songs and let's see if we do this let's see if we can get the display let me try and get you guys the display that i'm trying to show you so let's play this song at somewhere that's i'm gonna play 106 just to be safe so that song is playing there right um sorry let me do this put it down here put this there right then let's play the next song let's sync these and let's play the next song something like the same you know just sync these and then watch you see deck one is already popping up deck two is this side let's take this one up now see see what happens check here when i take this one up look up see what happens the, the track that's more dominant the one that's coming in you see and now that they both equal in volume they both equal half half and then when i take this one down the other one is more dominant and then you see how that transition happens as well and then boom and that's basically what's going to happen man that's basically what people will be seeing um on your thing you see exactly like that that's what i was looking for that's how it's going to pop up everything you touch that's how that's what people are going to be seeing sorry i don't know if you guys can still hear me man i'm talking over the music now um but so basically yeah that's what people are going to be seeing man like if you think when you do your mixes those displays there how that everything happened and everything this is basically what they're going to be seeing and then you can choose the video you can choose what you want to show if you have a camera it can literally show you so you can plug in your camera like for example with me i have a a webcam plug in the webcam if i was to click on this webcam now it probably show my face um but i'm sitting in the dark so let me see if it, sh it will show so it probably looks something like this here i don't know if it's gonna work actually let me see it's very dark where i'm sitting it doesn't want to work oh yeah you can see my white top let me switch on the lights for you guys give me a second uh. you see what i mean so that's basically how that works man and then yeah so that's where i'll end the video but that's basically how it works and then you can just display whatever you want to display for people and then people will just see that and yeah so that's how you live stream on facebook and youtube i'm not too sure about um twitter 
all these other things, yeah, I'm not too familiar. But yeah, man, then you just mix your songs and do whatever you want to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope this was helpful. Um, I'm glad the internet wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I actually thought it was going to mess me up, but it wasn't too bad. 20 minutes long. That's actually quite long. Wow. I talk a lot. But anyway, yeah, man. Like, subscribe, comment, Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, follow all that jazz there. Shop, shop, my fit. I'm also on WhatsApp now, by the way. Yep.